right, here we are with the latest in the TMNT Turtles of Grayskull deluxe figure series, I'm going to call them. This is the Build-A-Figure. Uh, we have Splinter now that is coming off of the mouth jaw that we had in the Slacker, or the last two characters. Uh, there is one more in the line. He'll be coming out in October with the Bebop and Walk Steady. Um, I forget what that one is called, but it's the uh, uh, twin character. And... Um, yeah, we're finally going to be able to build Metal Bato. So this one comes with a body, so we're going to attach the other parts we have to see how he looks at this point at the end of the video. But for now, we want to check out Splinter and see uh, what how they have, um, you know, MOTU him uh, and beefed him up a little bit. Uh, he looks pretty interesting here. Uh, but why don't we just come in close and check this guy out? As I said, we're not getting all of these. We're, we're kind of just going through the deluxe ones because I like the build-a-figure aspect. And some of these were cooler, I thought, in the standard release lines. I love Mattel. They do the um, so the instructions on the side of the box so you can always see those. Uh, and then you get this nice, I guess, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's meant to have a crease on there. It looked like it folded. But this nice sort of diorama on the back with Splinter, the Turtles, Casey, April, He-Man. You kind of get the whole group there in that shot of Metal Bato as we're building him out. We have our Splinter here. You can see he's got a staff, which I think is kind of a cool weapon for Splinter. Uh, but the top of the um, staff here separates, so you can take that sword out separately. It'll have its own little power sword. And then you got this, his little cape that sits on there, and then you have the body from Metal Bato. So we'll be checking all those out as we go through the package. And then, of course, you got a little backdrop that's going to have his card. And that's been consistent with all the figures that we've seen. Um, they come with this little card that has sort of the, I don't know, attributes, I guess you'd call it, of the, uh, the character here. And, um, oh, this one's taped on really well. Uh, it kind of also has more instructions for you to check out. And, um, we've been collecting these little cards. So you could see a little picture of Splinter here, and then you could see his little attributes on the back as well. And here we have the more instructions, and I think this is just telling you... A little bit more about the figure. Uh, remove parts. Oh, so you could take these parts off Splinter. I don't know why you'd want to take off his hands and his arms um, and whatnot, but maybe you could mix and match. I, I really don't know. Um, that would be kind of weird. So we'll get that cape out. This is pretty cool with the, it's not really faux fur, it's rubber, but it kind of gives that illusion of uh, faux fur. And you have this nice cape that has all this little raggediness going on to it here. We finally have our Shell for Metal Bato. Um, I think you have... For, oh, no, I'm sorry. This isn't Metal Bato's shell. This, oh, no, it is Metal Bato's shell. It looks like a shield, though. I thought it was a shield for Splinter for a second. But it looks like you could put it on the back of the body for Metal Bato. So you have this, this nice different colored chess piece here. And then the shell goes on. And it doubles as a shield. So he could take that off and use it as a shield and then put it back on. So that's kind of cool that they... They did that and gave you that that extra piece there. So we'll we'll come back to that at the end of the video. Uh, okay, so this is why you can remove some parts. He has an alternative hand. Other than mouse jaw for the deluxe figures, we haven't seen alternative hands included with these guys. They've all just had the one hand. Um, now we get to the tricky part here. His weapons are secured by those little plastic holder things. I hate those. I wish they would just use pressure fit for everything. Uh, so here we have the staff and the sword part. So it's a spear mode, and then it separates, and then he has a cane and then a, um, a power sword. So it's kind of cool that you have those two sort of um, functions there that you could separate them. Uh, so we'll take him apart now here. He's got more of these little um, silly tabs that they put in here to hold him in place. Uh, again, it's just more annoying than anything, but I guess if you're one of those collectors that keeps everything in the box, it's nice because you don't need to worry about it shifting around. I'm looking back at a lot of my old Kenner figures and those like weapons have fallen off the guys or the tape has dried out, etc. So um, it's kind of annoying to, to have those dangling at the bottom of the box. So nice to have these guys secured in here in that respect. And then his tail is very secured in there. So. Here we go. We got our guy looking extra beefy. That was kind of the intent of all those figures. So his arms here are in a nice ball joint. So he has a lot of range of motion. Um, and he has that nice elbow as well. Uh, his bicep kind of gets in the way, limiting how much he could bend that. The wrist turn and bend. Uh, his head is, oh, it comes off pretty easy, but it's on a ball joint. 
I don't think that was supposed to come off. Uh, we'll probably try to secure that a little better. There we go. There we go. It's a little better. Uh, he's got these braids for some of his hair here. I think that's kind of a cool, sort of a warrior look there. His uh, pleated little, um, I guess, skirt or comma or whatever here gives you a, a little bit of clearance for the legs. He's got those knees that bend there, and then he's got the uh, ankles, so those are able to maneuver. Uh, it says you could take them off, but I would not want to do that. So you can see the joint here where it turns. And it's probably where you can pull them off. And then you have the tail that is also on its own little ball joint here and maneuvers around. Um, I think it's got a little bit of... Oh, no, it does not. I thought it had a wire in it. I always like Splinter's tail because if you have trouble balancing him, you have that extra point of contact that you kind of use there. So he's got his spear here. And then he will throw on his cape. Give him the full look. Uh, throw on his cape here. And the cape kind of just sits on top. Uh, I don't know if you want to throw this. I guess it would be hard to throw that extra little rat tail he's got on there, on his hair. But uh, here's his look with his cape, looking extra fierce. You can kind of put that tail out to the side if you want to help with the cape a little bit. Um, and then that's basically it. And you have this alternative left hand. I'm not sure why they gave you sort of a grappling hand, a uh, grasping hand, but. Maybe just to give you a bit, a little bit of, um, you know, options if you want to um, gesture or something like that. So then we could separate this, and then we could put it in his hand here. We'll give him the power sword and then his cane. So he's got two weapons if you wanted to double wield, be a full 90s action star, you got that option as well. I think the only other thing you could do with him here it's going to come back to that Metal Bato um, shield. So I guess you could use it with the figure if you weren't building out the uh, the character and kind of just like drop it in there as a shield and then have that aspect as well. So it's kind of nice to have an accessory you could use with the character as, as more than just a build a character accessory. So that is basically your look at Splinter here. Um, I could give you a nice little close up really quick so you can check out all these nice details on this character because he does have a lot of nice details. I think the other fun thing is the belt comes off if you want to do that. Um, I'm not quite sure how, but according to the image, the belt is removable. Uh, it's not molded on here. So if you could find the, the release for it, which I don't, I don't see on here. Yeah, I don't see it. So I'm not sure how you're supposed to get it off, but it is removable, as is uh, probably this vest here he's wearing because that is not molded on. That's a separate piece. So a lot of fun detail on this guy, uh, adding into this the deluxe line. So why don't I bring in and you just get a quick little pan of this character before we get the metal bato parts and build out our robot. All right, I just want to pan around and give you a look at our splinter here. You can see uh, he's got those nice rat feet. He's got his tattered skirt. He's got his, uh, you know, power spear. And then he's got those... Um, sort of braided um, hair that kind of makes him look like a Viking warrior, as does this cape here. You can see his eyes, have some nice blue tint to him, and then uh, you can see all that detail on the faux fur rubber kind of thing at the top. So pretty nice looking character all around. Well, we have our Splinter here, and Splinter gave us our body. Uh, so it was nice to have that. The last character we reviewed was Slacker, which was the Slash and Faker combination. And he came with the legs and the head of Metobato. So we're going to add those in right now. So we start to build out our guy here. And here we go. So now we have our face uh, for our Metobato. And then we have our, uh, not the complete legs, but we have down to the, uh, the knees, which bend. So it's nice to have that articulation. And then our first character we looked at was Mouse Jaw right here and he came with the right arm and a bunch of other little accessories as well so we'll put that right arm on and we go oh. there we go snaps into place uh, and then it I think it rotates somehow there it goes okay so we have that arm in there now we have our accessory um, just looking off the package here, he's got this thing sticking out of him. Um, he's got other parts as well. Uh, so we'll uh, figure out how to put all these. He's got his hand on him here. Um, yeah, so he's starting to look a little bit sharper. Uh, I believe they have these little, let's see here. These little pegs, I think, go in the arm. And uh, 
give them a little extension here. There we go. Uh, something like that. We'll figure that out. But um, yeah, so you have a bunch of uh, options you could start doing with, uh, with the hands. Uh, for Metal Bato, you could put these extension pieces on, etc. But this is basically where we're where we're at with him in the moment of trying to figure out um, sort of where to go next. So I would assume the last character then has this left arm, a bunch of other parts, the satellite dish, the drill, uh, etc. And then he's probably going to have the feet <laughs> because he isn't going to be able to walk very well. But it's cool. I didn't know he was going to have this um, shield component that essentially comes off his back here. And then you get to use it like a shield uh, so he could hold that. Uh, and then look at this. As you turn him, the jaw moves. I didn't know that that was going to be interactive. So I'm starting to see some of the features of this character coming together. It's going to be fun that we're going to have this, uh, you know, bonus fifth character come October when that other set is released. And we'll be able to finish out this uh, deluxe set. Unclear if there's going to be future ones, uh, other deluxe sets, but I hope they do because this is pretty cool to have this build a figure um, be in this giant scale with these other characters here as well once he's, once he's, I don't know how tall he's going to be. The feet look like they're only about that tall. So that's pretty cool. I mean, he's still going to be pretty bulky. Uh, so that is your look at the Spiritual Sensei Splinter, who is the third um, Splinter Skull, I'm sorry, who is the third in the four of the uh, Build a Meadow Bottle series of the Turtles of Grayskull line. And that completes our look at the latest in the Turtles of Grayskull Deluxe line. These are exclusive to Target. Don't panic, they are available in abundance. I know people always panic when the pre-orders sell out, but they only sell like, I feel like a hundred, and then they go into pre-order sold out. Uh, we picked this up when they opened up orders again on the website. I've seen them in the store in like 10 different targets, and now I think he's still available on the website for purchase. Um, I'll put the link up. Uh, I think Slacker might have still been available too. People always panic when these first come out and they start buying them from scalpers and then they are made available in abundance. Uh, same with the next one. Like he went up, sold out right away in pre-orders. They opened up pre-orders again, sold out. He'll probably be available in abundance when he hits stores. So don't panic. You might not get him the first day, but he will be there. Uh, they're all there. Um, they, they make plenty of these. Uh, so you have your chance to build Meadow Bato. I think the only one you, I've seen actually still seen trap draw at a couple stores. So I think they're all kind of still out there. Uh, he's a little bit of a straggler. might be on clearance. Same with the slacker, but uh, Splinter is available. I, I think you can pretty much get most of them uh, off the website too. So if you want to get that metal bottle, you're running out of chances to get the first two, but uh, you'll be able to get the last two in abundance very soon. Um, so he's available on stores right now. Pick him up. He gives you that shell and that body, which are really crucial to building this character as we as we start to get there. It looks pretty fun. I can't wait to get the other arm uh, and the feet and the other accessories here so we can build out our character. And then we'll have our uh, set of five um, for the price of four. <laughs> so not too bad. So that's all for this time. We'll have more more Turtles news, so turn back for more reviews of Turtles products, uh, some focusing on the new series that is out right now, Tales from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with Playmates. And as always, like, subscribe, and follow. See you guys next time.